Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Page Replacement Algorithm. There are various replacement algorithms, but here in this video, I'll be giving you an example for first in first out algorithm, FIFO. Let us begin. You must remember how this algorithm takes place because I am going to take an example. So you must be remembering which particular page is being replaced. The page which enters first that will be out first. This is an example. Here an string is being given and the total number of frames in the memory is 3. And you have to determine the page faults respective to first in first out algorithm. So string is given, that must be the given in the question, but you have to be concerned about the number of frames. Here number of frames is 3 means you have to take 3 rows. If the number of frames were 4, you have to take 4 rows. So here 3, so let us plot 3 rows. You can uh, insert 1 by 1, 1 by 1 column, but I have drawn a table first. So string is being given. I have just listed out whatever is being given in the question. So here you can see 3 rows. F1, F2 and this is F3. Frames you can write in reverse order also. Top 1, F1, F2, F3 and accordingly it can be. Why F1 I have written? Because first number will be stored over here. Initially, the entire frame is blank. Means that is the, uh, empty. What happens when first digit 4 arrives? 4 will occupy a position. So here all the things were empty, there were no data, it means this is the condition of miss. After 4, 7 will arrive, 4 is already occupied over here, this is free, so 7 will occupy this position, this is also the condition of miss. After 7, 6 will arrive, so 6 will occupy this position. This is 7, this is already 4, this is the condition of miss. Means now you can see all these 3 frames are occupied. So when 1 arrive, so first you are going to check whether 1 is available over here. 1 is not available. So when 1 is not available, which is going to be replaced? Means first in, 4 was entered first. So 4 will be replaced by 1. And the remaining numbers are same. So this is also the condition of miss. Now next digit is 7. See, 7 is available over here, right? It means there is no replacement. Same data will be available over here. So 7 is found over here. So now this is the condition of hit. Again, next digit is what? 6. Check whether 6 is present or not. Yes, 6 is present over here. It means this is the condition of hit and there will be no replacement as it is you are going to write the data. Next is 1. 1 is already available. It means this is the condition of hit. Nothing will be replaced and you will write the same data as it is. Next is what? 2. Now check. 2 is not available over here. Means replacement will take place. Means this is the condition of miss. First, this 4 have been replaced. Now this 7 will be replaced with 2. So here it's 2. Remaining digits will be same. This is the condition of miss. Check. Next string data. Next number is what? 7. 7 is already not available over here. So 7 will replace this 6. Means now you will write 7. This is 2. This is 1. This is the condition of miss. Last digit of the string is 2. And 2 is already present over here. Means this is the condition of hit. Nothing will be replaced. You will write the data as it is. This is how you have to solve the question. You must remember which data enters first. That enters on this lower row, then middle row, then upper row. Accordingly, you have written it. Now you have to calculate the page faults. Page faults means number of miss. Calculate how many misses are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Means total number of page faults or miss when we are talking about FIFO algorithm, that is 06. I hope now this question is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. 